Welcome to Marker Board Videos. Today's video is on adding fractions with different denominators using a traditional algorithm. This is the kind that your mom and dad probably learned when they were in school and your grandma and grandpa probably did as well. If we're adding fractions with unlike denominators, one third plus one half, let's try that again, one third plus one half, the first thing we need to do is find the common denominator. And the way that I've always done it is I've always written it this way. I found it easier, kind of like when you were a kid and you could write 2 plus 3 that way or 2 plus 3 that way. Either way was the same problem, just written different ways. With fractions, when you're using a traditional algorithm, this sometimes works better. Now look at these two numbers and figure out which one is bigger. In this case, it's the 3. So we're going to focus on the 3. And we're going to start by saying 3 times 1, that's 3. Is 2 a factor of 3? No. Then we're going to go 3 times 2, which gives me 6. Is 2 a factor of 6? Yes. Which means that 6 is my least common denominator. What do I have to do to make it 6? I have to multiply it by 2. And whatever I do to the denominator, I have to do to the numerator. So 1 times 2 is 2. What do I do to 2 to make it 6? I multiply it by 3. So multiply my numerator by 3, so I have 2 6 plus 3 6, my answer is 5 6. As you can see, using the traditional algorithm usually gives you an answer that you don't have to reduce, although sometimes you do, once in a while you'll have to if you didn't find the least common denominator, but instead just found a common denominator. Let's try another problem, 3 4 plus 1 6. Again, I like to rewrite it as 3 fourths plus 1 sixth simply because it, gets, it makes it a little easier when you're trying to find the least common denominator. So again, I'm going to look at 4 and 6 and say which is bigger. The bigger one has to be 6. Okay? So 6 times 1 is 6. Is 4 a factor of 6? In other words, can you divide 6 by 4 and get a whole number? The answer is no. Now I'm going to try 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12. Can I divide 12 by 4 and get a whole number? And the answer is absolutely yes. So 12 is my least common denominator. I want to caution you, a lot of people just simply multiply the two denominators together and that does give them a common denominator. And it is something that you can actually use to add the fractions, but you need to keep in mind that when you simply multiply the two, you get a common denominator, not necessarily the least common denominator, and frequently you will need to reduce. So let's look at six and 12. Six times two gives me 12, so one times two gives me two. Four times three gives me 12. Three times three gives me nine. So now my problem becomes nine twelfths plus 2 twelfths. Simply add my numerator, 9 and 2 is 11 twelfths, and that's my answer. What about subtracting 3 fourths minus 1 sixth? Well, we've already figured out what the common denominator is. We figured it up here, and we figured out that it was 12. So, it's going to be the same problem we have here, only instead of a plus, it's a minus. So that means I have 9 twelfths minus 2 twelfths. 9 minus 2 is 7 twelfths. So my answer is 7 twelfths. And let's try one more problem just to make sure you've got it. 4 ninths plus 1 third. Go ahead and find the least common denominator for 9 and 3. Oh, you already found it. That was really quick. 9 times 1 is 9. If I divide 9 by 3, do I get a whole number? Absolutely. So that means my least common denominator is 9. And again, you don't have to write it this way. I just prefer to write it this way. It makes it a little easier for me. 4 ninths is 4 ninths. 1 third, hmm, 3 times 3 gives me 9, so 1 times 3 is 3, which means that's 7 ninths. 4 ninths plus 3 ninths is 7 ninths. And that's how to add fractions using the traditional algorithm. That's the one your mom and dad learned. That's the one they can probably help you the most with. Please check out my video on adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators using the alternate algorithm. Because you may find that a little bit easier to use than the traditional. Although your parents may not, 
they've been taught this way. That's the way they're going to go back to. Have a good day.